product sold more than 1,300 units, totaling over $30,000 in sales last month. And surprisingly, I found it in less than 10 minutes while making this video. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you exactly how I found it and why, almost after seven years of selling on Amazon, I've switched from one of the top product research tools on the market to another. It's no surprise that the two biggest players in the product research space today are Helium 10 and Jungle Scout. And they've been going head to head like Pepsi and Coke. But unlike the kings of fizzy drinks, choosing one shouldn't be based on personal preference, at least not for me. I'm looking for two key metrics, accuracy and speed. So if you're on the fence on which tool to go with, I'll share with you my opinion and the three main reasons why I chose one over the other. Now, how many of you have worked on your car or a project around the house, and because you used only the tools that you had on hand at the time, ended up taking forever to do and caused a ton of unnecessary frustration? And the whole time you knew that the project would have been done so much faster and the final result would have turned out way better if you only had the right tools? So reason number one for me switching to Helium 10 from using Jungle Scout is the speed and accuracy of their product research tools. And let me show you what I mean. When analyzing a product idea, it's crucial that you follow a proven strategy and analyze the correct data so that you can avoid the three biggest mistakes that beginners make and that's analyzing product niches with the wrong keyword, inaccurately determining competition by not considering niche saturation, and the biggest of all, profitability. And here's how Helium 10 makes this process so much quicker and easier. Helium 10 has a much more user-friendly interface and much better integrated features. For example, one of the main tools that I use is called X-Ray. This is the Chrome extension that pulls up a ton of data for a product niche like you can see here. It's important that when you find a product idea that you analyze the entire product niche as a whole and not just the individual product listing. That's because looking at one specific product listing that's selling well doesn't represent the product niche as a whole. You need to determine the level of competition and overall demand, and the only way to do that is to look at the entire niche. And in this example, you can see that we're looking at these garlic mincer tools. Now you can see that X-Ray pulled up a ton of helpful data for each of the listings on the search results page. You can see the monthly sales, sales history, Amazon fees, total number of reviews, and more. And you might be thinking that this is the correct data that you should be analyzing for this product idea. Well, would you be surprised if I told you that in fact, this is the wrong data? Take a look over here. The search term garlic mincer tool that I used has less than 900 searches every month, which is a huge red flag that you're analyzing the wrong list of products. If we click on the keywords button here, we can easily identify that the most popular keyword phrase is actually garlic press, and that we should really be doing a search on Amazon for this keyword phrase instead, and analyzing these lists of products. Again, this is a huge mistake beginners make because using the wrong keyword can lead to giving you a false impression that the product niche is a good one with high demand and low competition, when in fact, it doesn't. And it's this keyword tool that led me to discover the $30,000 per month product that I mentioned earlier, and I'll show you exactly how that happened in a second. Now, as I said earlier, I want a tool that provides accurate data and saves me time. And as you can see, Helium 10 made it extremely easy to identify the correct keyword phrase, whereas with Jungle Scout, if we pull up their Chrome extension, this metric isn't available. You'd have to realize that you made this mistake on your own and then use another keyword research tool to find the best keyword phrase to use, thus making this process less accurate and more time consuming. Now, understanding keyword search volume plays a significant role in product analysis since it helps you identify any potential red flags. For example, if there is low search volume, then you're probably using the wrong keyword phrase. The product might be patented. It could be a new product that just hit the market. Or if there's a huge discrepancy between the sales to search volume ratio, meaning there's massive sales across the niche, but very low search volume, then that's a red flag that sales are being brought in from marketing sources outside of Amazon. And these are all highly problematic issues. Now, this video isn't about how to do product research, but if you wanna learn more about how to properly analyze product ideas, I'll leave a link to a detailed video down in the description below. Now, the second biggest mistake beginners make is analyzing bad data related to niche saturation. What I mean by that is when you're analyzing a niche, you need to ignore the sales data from new product listings. I consider product listings as new if they are listed within the last three to four months, like you can see here. 
A ton of these listings are listed on Amazon within the past two to three months, many within just the past few weeks. And you can see that these listings have been making massive sales, several thousand units in the last month, in fact. So why is it important to ignore these new listings? Well, if you think about it, a new listing needs to gain traction in order to get ranked at the top of the search results. And the best way to gain traction is to sell your product at a really competitive price and offer huge discounts and promotions. Therefore, these sales numbers do not represent what the true sales are since the seller probably isn't making any money on these sales. That's why you must only consider the older listings where the sales are organic. And a pro tip here, you also want to stay away from saturated niches. A huge red flag that a niche is oversaturated is if you see a ton of new listings on the first page. That's a sign that a bunch of sellers recently discovered this product and all launched around the same time, flooding the market, which will inevitably drive up the competition and PPC costs. And with X-Ray, you can easily identify these new listings, checkmark them, and actually delete them from the list. And on that note, the third biggest mistake beginners make is not verifying if the product is even profitable. Just because a product is making sales every month doesn't mean that it's making money and Helium 10 makes it easy to check. For example, let's say I'm interested in these yoga balls. You can click here on show full details, then click on estimate net margin, and Helium 10 will pull up the profitability calculator. It pre-fills in all the product details like the sale price, product dimensions and weight, estimated costs, the Amazon fees, and the net profit down here, which in this case isn't too bad. But what makes this tool extremely useful is that it's right at your fingertips and you can change any of these parameters. For example, if I know that I can add value and raise the price, I can change that here. I can see how different size packaging affect the fees. And back on X-Ray, I can click on the find suppliers on Alibaba button here to get a more accurate cost estimation. For example, it looks like I can get this exact same yoga ball from this manufacturer for as little as $1.91 here. And if we go back and plug in this figure into the calculator, we can see that we can increase our margins by almost 50%. And of course, if by using the calculator we find that the product isn't profitable, then perhaps this isn't a good product idea to pursue. But just as a reference, Jungle Scout doesn't have the ability to search on Alibaba from their Chrome extension tool but they do also have the calculator as you can see here. However, it doesn't estimate the costs or give you a detailed breakdown based on the time of year like Helium 10 does. Okay, so with that said, another reason why I switched to Helium 10 from Jungle Scout is the product database tool. On Helium 10, this is called Black Box and it lets you set specific filters to find a list of products that meet certain criteria or research strategy that you're implementing. For example, you can choose specific categories to include or exclude, review ratings, BSR, a price range, revenue, monthly sales, and more. And although Jungle Scout has a very similar product database tool, as you can see here, it doesn't offer as many filters as Blackbox. Specifically, Jungle Scout doesn't have this entire set of filters here under competitors, as well as these filters here. And I exclusively use these extra filters to make product hunting faster and easier by adding a list of excluded keywords and brands here so they don't appear in the search results, saving me time. And like I mentioned earlier, I also want to avoid looking at new product listings so I can completely disregard them with this listing age filter. And this is exactly how I accidentally discovered the $30,000 per month winning product in less than 10 minutes. I was here on Blackbox on the keywords tool and I entered some common filters that I use so I can find some example products to use in this video. Well, this product caught my attention. Camper tie downs. I don't know what that is, so I did a quick search on Amazon and although this product idea didn't turn out to be a good one, the spiral camping tie downs caught my eye. So I did a search for that and noticed right away that the search volume was a whopping zero. So I clicked on the top keywords button and screw in tent stakes, which has nearly 4,000 searches per month, seemed to be the much better keyword phrase to use, so I popped that into the search open up X-Ray, and boom, check this out. These products have an excellent price point at $15 or more, are selling really well, and best of all, almost all of the top listings have less than 300 reviews, which means this is a very low competition, high demand product niche. Can you see how powerful and easy to use Helium 10 is? 
Now, before I show you the exact product I analyzed and how I determined how much money it actually makes every month, let's talk about how you can get started with Helium 10, how much it costs, and which plan I recommend you get. As you can see, Helium 10 offers three plans for you to choose from. There's also a free trial option. By signing up, you can use Helium 10 for free, but on a very limited scale, and that's the same case with the starter plan. With these two options, you can only use Blackbox, which is for product research, and Magneto and Cerebro, which are the keyword research tools, only a few times each day, which is far too limiting, so I don't recommend these two options. The best option is actually the Platinum plan at $99 a month. It gives you all of the features that you'll need to get started and includes all of the tools that I personally use with no limitations. You also get access to all of these extra features and tools listed here. Now compared to Jungle Scout, you can see that they basically offer three plans as well. And although the prices are similar, their starter and growth accelerator plans are also limited when compared to what Helium 10 offers. Helium 10's Platinum plan basically falls between Jungle Scout's growth accelerator and brand owner plans. However, in order for you to get the same features that the Helium 10 Platinum plan has, you'd have to get Jungle Scout's brand owner plan, which is double Helium 10 at $199 a month. So value for money, Helium 10 is a far better option. And to help all of you out, I worked with Helium 10 to get a huge discount for my community. If you use my discount link down in the video description below, you can get the Platinum plan right now for 20% off for six whole months. Now, speaking of saving money, let's jump back to the camping stakes. This listing in particular is the one I took a closer look at. And I chose this particular listing because this one has been around since 2019. It's a 15 pack of stakes that's selling over 1300 units a month and generating $34,000 in revenue. And if we click on the sales history, we can see that the sales has been pretty consistent for the past several years. Who knew these things are so popular? And the best part is that this niche is a hidden gem. Nearly all of the top sellers have less than 300 reviews, which means this niche has very low competition. So with the convenience of the built-in tools Helium 10 has that I just showed you, Let's see if this seller is actually making any money. If we take a look at the calculator, we can see that as it sits right now, the estimated profit is over $8. And if we multiply that by the 1300s in sales that they did in the last 30 days, that's $12,000 in profit. And just to be a little more thorough because that's just how I am, let's click on the Alibaba button. If we do a little digging, you can see that I found this manufacturer that has the exact same product for 25 cents each which ends up being $3.75 for the same 15 pack. And if we jump back to the calculator and update the costs, that increases the margins by 5% to almost $10. Isn't that crazy? And how easy was that? Now, I'm not suggesting that I'm going to start selling this product. I might, but I'm not suggesting that you do either because I'm warning you, since now that I revealed this product to the world on YouTube, I'm sure a ton of lazy people are going to jump on the bandwagon to sell this product saturating the market. I'm pretty sure if we check back on this niche in a couple of months, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a ton of new sellers. And just so you're aware, there's a few more metrics that you need to consider to validate a product idea than what I covered here today. But one of the most important is making sure that you identify some sort of competitive advantage. You can't just sell the same thing as everyone else. Otherwise, you can only compete based on price and you never want to do that. However, what looks extremely promising here is that if we take a closer look, most of the top sellers are basically selling just the screw-in stakes with no differentiation of any sort. And they're all doing over $10,000 in sales every single month. So if you can improve this product somehow, add more value, you can dominate this market. And again, I found this product basically in real time using Helium 10. So to thoroughly validate this product idea using Helium 10 involves analyzing several more metrics, such as seasonality, brand domination, the ability to differentiate, Amazon compliance and restrictions, and much more. And this video right over here will show you exactly how to do that.